as per usual, I did not pull up the information about the product before I sit down to talk about the product. Classic, Nita. Classic. Hey y'all, it's your Nita, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am back with a bop or flop review, and today's review is on the ABH Magic Touch Concealer. Uh, this concealer came out a few weeks back, but I was not able to review it then, even though I, I bought two of them. Um, it's my life just ended up turning upside down unexpectedly and if you would if you are new or you would like to know what happened I will leave an eye above for my life update video that I did a couple weeks back so here I am reorganizing my room and realizing I have products that I I still need to review especially if I'd like to know how if it works for me before I can't return it so yeah um so here we are. A little bit about the concealer. It retails for nine for nineteen. It retails for twenty nine dollars. You can get it on ABH's website, Sephora, as well as Ulta. Uh, the two I have here, I have one from ABH's website and one from Ulta. Ulta. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. It comes in 25 shades, which is actually a really wide range of shades for a concealer, and that's pretty nice. I have here shades 16 and 17. Trying to find the shade, the right shade online was a little meh for me. So I was like, well, these two look the closest to what I would wear as a concealer. So we'll go with those and see how it goes. A little bit about it. A little, so the highlights of the concealer are it's it's a liquid formula, natural finish. It's good for dark spots, medium coverage, and it's best for oily combo and normal skin. I'm a little confused how this is good for dark spots if it's only medium coverage. Wouldn't something for dark spots be best? Wouldn't something best for dark spots be like full coverage? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But this is a medium to full coverage creamy and lightweight formula that corrects, brightens, blurs, and conceals while blending to a natural second skin finish hmm. uh, some ingredient call outs it's free of parabens and it's also vegan gluten free and cruelty free which is nice I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this even though it's been out for a couple weeks maybe like two months three months something like something like that uh, maybe I think it came out in like September but I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing uh, mostly when I hear people talk about ABH it's typically not a lot of positive stuff I don't know why I kind of feel bad for ABH because this is a brand that consistently markets to the demographic that they strongly know are always here for them and people complain about it it's it's oh abh is too boring so then they did the norvina stuff and it was colorful and pretty and then it's this is tacky and i'm like honestly and truly if i was a brand i'd have to get comfortable real quick in reality the people complaining about your product aren't even the people using your product so you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't unfortunately i've never really had a problem with abh um i've used their foundation uh their loose setting powder is one of is my favorite go-to setting powder so yeah i have a couple abh palettes that i actually really love um so i you know i never really had any beef with abh abh hasn't really done me wrong you know the only thing that i kind of like was in about was the foundation yeah i was really in about the foundation because that was like sliding off my face after a few hours. I have a review on that as well, so I'll leave an eye above for that. But other than that, I don't have a beast. I don't have a problem. So let's try these out. As you see, I've got my eyebrows and foundation on, but I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, damn, it kind of looks like I don't have anything on. And I, I like that. Today's a good skin day. Today is a good foundation base day, obviously. So um, I am wearing the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation by Urban Decay in the shade 70YW. I had ran through the previous bottle, so I went out and bought another one. And I really, like, I forgot how much I love this foundation. Like, I was living in the Rare Beauty Foundation all last summer, fall, and into this year. I finished off that bottle. And when it came time to buy a new foundation, I was like... I have the two more. I have a Morphe one that I really like. I could re repurchase the Juvia's Place one, but then I was like, 
was looking at those pictures of me and this Urban Decay Foundation from before and I'm like, you know, she's our girl. Like, <laughs> she, she did us well. So face looks good. I like this so far. So I'm gonna apply the concealer. I'm gonna kind of see which one would fit best because like I said, I bought two shades. I bought 16 and 17. Okay, 16 is medium to tan skin with warm undertones. I'm not medium to tan, but this is a concealer, so it is supposed to be a little light in your foundation. Look, um, and then 17 is medium to tan with cool undertones, which I'm, I'm not cool, but the other shades online look too dark to be a concealer. So I was like, that doesn't help. So here's what the packaging looks like, and it's actually really nice. I really love how big it is. This is like super thick for like just a concealer. This is uh, 12 milliliters, 0.4 fluid ounces of product. I mean, for $29, you could have just gave us a whole fluid ounce, honestly and truly. Um, but has a doe foot applicator. Like, it kind of just reminds me of shape tape. Do I have a shape tape here on my desk? I do have a shape tape here on my desk. Look at that. Um, shape tape is a little shorter. Yeah, shape tape, the actual bottle that holds the product is shorter. But yeah. So you get more in here with the ABH foundation than you do shape tape, which to me isn't a really big deal. So let's see. I'm gonna put a little this on the back of my hand. This one is 17. And see which one of these I like the best to put on my face. Because you guys know I like more of a more natural looking under eye for my concealer. So I typically don't like concealers that are like too bright. So The difference is kind of staggering. Okay, so this one here is 16, and this one here is 17. And 17, 17 looks like it'll do, it'll be it for me. I was kind of thinking about mixing the two to see how it looked, but I think 17 is the one I'm gonna go with, because you guys know, I don't do like a super bright concealer under my eye i typically like to go for something that's a little closer to my foundation shade i will say this like little you know there's supposed to be like a little thing in here that stops you from picking up too much product yeah that does not do that that does not do that at all it really and truly doesn't it just like it's just there okay it's just it's really just there so one, two I'm just going to apply my concealer and blend it out and set it like I normally would. So the way I've been setting, I've been putting on my concealer as of like maybe the past like like a couple months, six, seven months or so, or maybe since like last fall, like last, last winter, um, since like last winter is I do like a little bit here and then I come out here and apply it like that. To give it a lift instead of doing the typical triangle. And I actually end up seeing this done on TikTok and I actually like it a lot. It's nice. A little bit goes a long way. Uh, you don't have to really take a second dip with the applicator. Whatever you get off the first dip pretty much uh, is enough to put it where you need it. Now this hiding dark marks, I have no idea if it will really do the trick with that because I already have my foundation on. So, I'm gonna take some on your forehead. I actually like this color a lot. This is such a nice color. So, I'm going, I'm just going to blend it out. The way I normally would with my beauty blender. I can say right now it's like super thick. It's a very thick concealer, but it doesn't feel thick on the skin. You can just tell it's thick by just looking at the consistency in the tube. Hmm, I like that color. I like that. I like this. I like how that feels. The coverage is actually not bad at all. The coverage is actually pretty good for medium coverage. I think. I thought it'd be a little bit more sheer, but it's actually not. It's actually looking kind of full, which is great for me. Now 
Now I'm just going to set with my ABH banana powder. Let me set my whole face so that doesn't crease, especially around my mouth, which is always crazy. Okay, so I like the way the concealer looks under my eyes. I like it. It looks nice. This isn't a bad shade. It's not super, super bright. Number 16 would definitely be bright and it'd be very noticeable, which is fine. But usually I don't really do like a super, super bright underwear under eye. I like to do more of a kind of like natural under eye, I guess would be the best way to put it. But I like it. The consistency was good. It was thick and it's actually a little bit more than medium coverage because where my foundation wasn't fully covering my like dark circles. Uh, this actually did the trick pretty well. Hmm. I'm not gonna talk about like it stopping creasing because no matter what, I always get under eye creasing. Like it does not matter what I do, I always get under eye creasing. It had no problems with my setting powder, which is good because sometimes I've tried concealers where I put my setting powder on top the normal way I would set it, just lightly dusting on some powder and it just, the powder will pick up the product from under the eye or it just doesn't set properly and it looks funny. So I'm gonna finish up, do the rest of my face, and I will be back. All right guys, I am back. Full face is done. Threw on, did, do some, did some hair, threw on some lashes, put on a lip, and we're ready to go. So, what do I think about this concealer? I like it. Honestly, I like it. Concealers are kinda simple for me. Like, does it say what it's gonna do? Does it feel the way it's described that it's going to feel on your face? Does it provide good coverage? This ticks all those boxes. It provide, provided really great coverage. It felt feels really lightweight on the face. And it also does what it's supposed to do. Like, and it didn't, I didn't have any problem with it interacting with my foundation or my powder. Cause you know how sometimes some of these brands in order to dupe you into buying more of their products, they're like, well use this with this. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. So on Sephora's website and on ABH's website, I believe it says like buy this concealer with the ABH foundation. And I'm like, I had the ABH foundation and I didn't really love it. So I used this today with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. No problems with the concealer and the foundation interacting. I did use the ABH Banana Powder, but that's the powder I always use. No problems between it and the powder and it looks really good. My under eyes look really nice. I still have creasing, but that's normal. No matter what, you're always gonna have creasing. Like I never believe when a concealer is like, you'll never crease. We don't, we stop creasing. I don't believe that, not for one second. Um, it feels really light under your eyes and it has a really good coverage. I feel like this is more medium to full than just medium, personally. It looks more medium to full and leaning more towards the full size than just medium. I love the coverage, it looks really good. My under eyes look lifted and I like it. This is a bop for me. It is a little expensive because it is a high end, a high end brand, it's ABH. So that just comes to be expected. That $29 price point is primarily for the name more so than anything when we really get down to it. I only use three concealers. Well, I only, sorry, I only use two concealers and that's Shape Tape and the Stay Naked Concealer. I have a review for the Stay Naked Concealer on my channel. I'll leave an eye above so you guys can check it out if you would like. Um, those are my two favorite concealers concealers and those are my right eyes I will now be adding this to that rotation because I actually really like how this looks I like it a lot it looks really nice so it's a bop for me definitely a bop for me I love it I like it I like it a lot so yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe your girls uploading on Wednesday and Saturday Wednesday at 7 p EST and Saturday at 3 30 p EST click the description box there'll be links to all the products used in today's video as well as links to all my social media follow your girl on Instagram Twitter Facebook as well as the TikTok for this channel and yeah don't forget to hit the bell down below so that way you can always be notified whenever I upload and yeah I'll see y'all next time. Bye.